Hey. We are back here today again. What it is? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Got you in the club. We hope you're alright guys. We are back here today to talk to you about fear of failure as the title says above are you afraid of failure. And thank you for watching our second video if you are here. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This is our first official video we want to take. Thank Jesus! Clap for Jesus. We're here today to talk about are you afraid of failing? Um, so we're going to give you some, just some kind of uplifting advice if you are in that predicament. So yes, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. Um, so there can be different reasons why you have a fear of failure. If you want to begin, you know you can't move you on the spot like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, people, right? A lot of the time people are scared of failure. I find people are scared of failure because they've told somebody about their idea mm. and that person has pretty much pooed on their idea and not in like a humongous like you, you can never do that. It's just just when you tell somebody and they give you a vibe that is not saying 100% you go forth and you do what it is you said you want to do. People sometimes take that to heart as it's not going to work. I'm not gonna succeed. They don't have faith in me. Why should I have faith in myself? And it's not like you, these things come up into your like in your mind, in the forefront of your mind, but it's just like subconsciously that, that that's how you feel. For example, let's say I tell somebody I want to start my own um, stationary line, and then they're just like, stationary. but there's really pens, and you're like, yeah, I know, but the pen that I have to offer is gonna be. Like the ink is gonna be really powerful and oh, it's, gonna be able to, <laughs> it's gonna be able to rub out. There's already pens that can rub out. But this particular pen is, you, you get on point, like you, you try to pitch something to them and each pitch you're given, each part of the pitch, they're just pretty much down in your ideas. Mm -hmm. And to a lot of people, that is so discouraging and that alone is enough for them to be like, forget it. I'm not gonna do it. Especially, sorry, especially if it's coming from somebody who you value their opinion. Yeah, like so, your yeah. mum, yeah. your yeah. best Close friend, friend your yeah. boyfriend, your tutor, your mentor. Like, what I want, what I'm trying to tell you though is that even though somebody doesn't understand what it is you're trying to tell them, it's because they haven't got your vision, which is why it's just your vision. It was put in your mind, not in their mind, mm -hmm. because only you can carry this thing through. <clears throat> so when somebody doesn't understand your vision, don't take that as, um, oh my gosh, this is not gonna work. Oh, just take it as, this person doesn't understand their vision, but watch me work this whole thing out and this person is going to not only understand my vision, they're going to support me, they're going to be proud of me. Even in that respect, in terms of like knowing who and who not to go and speak to. So for example, yeah. if you are, um, I don't know, from African descendant and you go and tell your family that you want to become, I don't know, a fashion stylist or some type of musician, or just in general, like if you go and tell somebody who is quite an quite a traditional type of academic that you want to go and do, let's say something like a BTEC or an internship, instead of going to take the traditional route as an A-level, that person might be might be telling you, listen, there's no opportunity in that, there's no future in that, etc, etc, etc. That person, their mindset, they don't actually see the opportunity mm. because of who they are. It's not because they don't believe that you can step into that. That person could be speaking out of love, but they just don't see the opportunity in that. Your parents, their mindset is so ancient in thinking that the only thing that can that can bring forth a successful and sustainable life is going to be a doctor or a scientist or a lawyer. Mm. When they don't know that there's people, technology is booming now. Like technology is where it's at, go and make an app. Go and do some gaming, YouTube, blow. They yeah. don't see that opportunity. That's what I was thinking. Even with the um, us as an example, or let's say an example, like I'm telling people, oh, I'm gonna you know start a YouTube channel with my friends, and then just get in this vibe like, what are you doing that for? Yeah. And that could, if if it was just me making this video, honestly, it would initially dampen my spirits. But because there's three of us, that that's not gonna happen. Yeah. But if it was me alone, I might not. Be here talking to y'all today and why should that why should that come to pass because people don't understand what it is i'm gonna or we're gonna produce yeah. just to give an example of a person who could if they had allowed the fear of failure or allowed other people to speak into their situation it could have been a catastrophic cat catastrophic cat it could have been a catastrophic cat catastrophic catastrophic you know, catastrophic 
it, it, it would have been a catas catastrophic event. It would have been a catastrophic event. And this person, it is Noah that we all love and know. So Noah, I'm, I'm sure the majority of you know the story of Noah. He was told, obviously the people in the city and whatever were bad, bad man in it. And God was like, listen, I'm gonna write them all off. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> and then Noah was just like, he said like, listen Noah, this is the situation, yeah? I am going to send down rain. I need you to build an ark, an ark big enough to fit two of every kind of animal inside this ark. And this ark needs to be humongous. Gargantuan. And um, yeah, you're basically going to save the world. Now, let's stop right here. Noah is 500 years old, yeah? And at this point, yeah, he's 500 years old. No, I'm strong at this. 500 and building up, so it's done. Noah's 500 years old and it has never ever rained on earth before. And God is- No, is he an architect? No, yeah, nor was he an architect. This nigga is hella basic. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're five years old, like, please don't go old. You know, you don't have that strength. Now, if he, he was going around and telling people that it's gonna rain, everybody's looking at this guy like, what the hell are you talking about? Rain? What type of rain? What is rain? Like, you're yapping, bang, 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 talking yeah. too much, talking too much. On top of that, you wanna go and build this humongous thing by yourself. And not only that, you said you're going to bring the animals, two of every time. How will you find the animals, okay? Huh? <laughs> like, Imagine all of the stuff that people must have been telling Noah, like, you mm. are dragging it. Stop striving. If you want to buy, if you want to build a book, go and do a canoe. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> no, no, no. Take your time. Let's <laughs> take your That's time. Not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> but, like, you can imagine this vision, this, this dream that he has is just so big, so mm. unbelievable that everybody that you say it to, they will just speak negativity mm. into the situation. And imagine now, had um, Noah not built the ark and listened to what God had told him, we would all be dead because Noah is the reason why, you know, we were ended, we ended up populating Repopulate this situation. Mm. Yeah, and I just want to point out that between the time that God had told him, listen, I need you to build the ark, and between the time that it rained, a hundred years had passed. A hundred. So years. you can imagine people the whole time. Well, what this is just like, you? It's just like when you tell somebody, I'm gonna make that that what you call it stationary line, and they're like pretty much frowning on you. Mm -hmm. And then each day they're asking, each month they're asking you, oh, where did where's it? the plan? <laughs> Boo. You said the calculator was coming last month. Where is it? Mm -hmm. These things can really break your That's heart. That's what you said. Yeah. Wait on it. Just, just wait, wait on, on it. it. And no, just just say now, just wait on it. People. Yeah, honestly. A hundred years wait on it though. Like, shout out to Noah. We got shout out to you, the real MVP. <laughs> you, the, you the plug. You the plug, Noah. The plug, got dude. You. Okay. Um, and another, like, general point about this is like, if you don't try, how will you know? It's that you can fail. Exactly. It's like, if you never go for what you're so scared of doing, or you're so scared of failing, how you know what could come about it or what could come from it. Like a lot of people end up actually finding their way in life from doing things that they were scared to do initially. Yeah. Like there's a story of some girl um, and she was, she really wanted to be a photographer and I think she held herself back for so long because she was so scared. And then she ended up going to work as a photography assistant. And then the photographer that she was working for took a look at her and was like, girl, can you get your ass in front of this camera girl? Cause you hella cute. Mm -hmm. Next thing this girl becomes a model. And so it's like, you never know the doors you're holding or the doors you're closing for yourself yeah. by not pursuing the goals that you actually want to pursue. Mm -hmm. And if you do try, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Just saying, sorry, just, just on a budget night. When you try and do something and you're scared to feel the the worst that can happen, really have I ever known somebody to fail so epically that they even go below the mark that they started at. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, you just tend to fall back onto comfortable territory, yeah. exactly where you was in the first place. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So there's not really much that you, that you can lose. Why are you deciding to settle with mediocrity instead of just going and trying? And sometimes when you do fail, it actually gives you time to look at yourself and maybe fix certain things about yourself like mm -hmm. you say you want something but how bad do you really want it mm -hmm. are you really working hard enough so why have you failed mm -hmm. it maybe it's your own fault that you failed sometimes you blame other people around you and other aspects or you know oh i don't have time i don't have money but have you really put in the work self-evaluation yeah self-evaluation is so key in making sure that you don't fail so mm -hmm. if you have failed take the time and stand back and be like okay do you know what, this didn't go to plan, but next time I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z differently. And in your heart, you know that, okay, because I've done this differently, it will work out for me this time. And even if then you fail again, do not stop going and do not stop working and always 
push yourself harder and it always works out that you know once people have failed it normally acts as a catalyst and it drives them to work even harder than the last time to make sure that they get where they want to be in life because mm -hmm. most of the people you see that are successful it wasn't an easy road for them mm -hmm. you know yeah. nothing in this life is easy yeah. you know and i think some people forget this nowadays you just see people on tv like oh you know she gets it so easy she's got all this um, nice handbag nice car mm -hmm. and you forget that these people some of them have worked so hard all yeah. of their life for it Preparing don't themselves. forget that yeah comparison is the thief of joy yet again so, yeah also um this is something i picked up from one guy at bible study right and he was pretty much explaining that in a particular so when something happens to you you don't have to go and label yourself that situation yeah. so in terms of failure you can fail but that doesn't make you a failure yeah. so from from failing don't go and sit there and be walking around and be pitying yourself and feeling, feeling sorry for yourself yeah. and like not moving forward your life and calling yourself a failure You're you not are not a failure. a failure you have failed Sorry, just in that respect, I'm respect. I'm going to give you another um, example of somebody in the Bible now, Peter. Yeah, so Peter was one of Jesus' disciples, and Peter, he thought he was like, Jesus is right hand man, I've got so much love for this guy, this is my number one, like, dog or whatever. And Jesus told him, like, Peter, basically, you're going to fail, like, this is what is going to happen, you're going to deny me three times. And he was like, nah, man. I'll never do that to you, man, or whatever. And behold, Peter did do it, and um, yeah, he was sad. But Peter was when Peter, Peter denied Jesus Christ. Yeah, so that, that is the failure. Right? Yeah, so that's the failure. So he, he said that he wasn't gonna do it. He's gonna ride for him. He basically said like, if you die, I die. Wherever you go, I go. And then people asked him like, yo, isn't that that Boris Redrick? And he's like, listen, nah. I'm not involved. I'm not involved. I'm not involved. I don't even know that don't chill. What are you lot on that? Chill, man. Nah. Like, you can imagine how Peter must have felt like you've just denied the son of God and Jesus came up to him and he just basically said like it's cool do you know what I mean like and just go, still. go go and do this from now like use this experience gain strength gain it gain insight from it and go forth and do what I've called you to do mm -hmm. now if Peter decided that he was just gonna wallow and just allow himself to just meditate on that thing mm -hmm. If you read Acts, Peter is one supersonic don in Acts. <laughs> this guy is doing all types of healing, casting all types of demons out, and it's like Peter, this is this destiny was inside of you, mm. and have you let have you let allowed that failure to manifest and bring all types of um, self esteem and confidence issues, mm -hmm. yeah. babes? Like you would have. You know hurt a lot of people along the way like do not allow like, one failure or maybe a few failures in your life prevent you from fulfilling your purpose on this earth because mm -hmm. that will be so detrimental to you and your future mm -hmm. and do you know what guys failing means you're trying yeah come on failing actually means you're trying if you're not nice. failing <laughs> look at it's just like how you look at the camera it's like babe you can do it you can do it, <laughs> like, you can do it. You know, <laughs> failure means you're trying if you're not failing at something it means that you're not taking any you're risks you're not taking any risks and everybody who is successful is a <laughs> somebody risk preach tonight. Yeah. somebody Cut. preaching to me today <laughs> somebody feeling the holy spirit in this <laughs> well it's okay our point is just that don't ever give up. As Uvia said, if you fail, you are not a failure. And don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, if you feel like I'm trying to do something and it's just not working and I can't see where I'm going wrong, sometimes you're blinded and someone might just point out one little thing that you need to change and things can just turn around for you. I want to just this one more thing, right? So if you're scared to fail, yeah, it's, it's like, oh, there was somebody that thinking of so it's like say for example aha uh -huh, it was the driving test so you people who you have failed your theory or you failed your driving test one two or three times and you've been trying for two years are you going to stop trying to pass your driving test no you're going to keep on going do you know why because you have spent too much <laughs> money mm -hmm. you have invested too much time in this in this thing that you're trying to do so if you're allowing this fear of failure to prevent you from getting to the end mark i bet you haven't invested any time into it mm. i bet you haven't put any Ooh. i bet you Let's go. Yes, Thank you. Come on. So, so we're going to go really quickly. Like something, something. Follow us and um, quickly if you guys want to know more about. I'm gonna. I'm doing a video called Fail. Oh, what's it called? Fear oh. of Success. Yeah. Um, yeah, somewhere here. Thank you, know. you for watching our video. Thank you guys. Come again. Have a nice evening. Ooh. You're not a failure. You're, not you're a failure. success. You, you are, are a success. I receive you. Keep going, girl. Keep on going, going. Keep on going, going.
You want keep it up. Come on. You better keep it up. You better keep it up. I'm sucky. I'm sucky. Come on. Come on. Skeleton. What's the skeleton? Skeleton. Hey. Surulayan. Come on. Surulayan. How did we get here? Surulayan. I don't even know how to shuffle that. Come on. Hey. Superstar! Ah. Come on! Ah. 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 Ah